It should have been a day for celebration, the day that Gaza secondary school students sit their final exams. But instead, around 39,000 young people have had that opportunity taken away from them by Israel's devastating war on Gaza. I would say I'm totally depressed because I have prepared for this moment for 12 years and what should have happened didn't. The situation is getting worse and worse. Without the Taujihi certificate, that's the end of the year exams, Doa says her plans are no longer possible and her future looks bleak. There is a scholarship waiting. There was a scholarship waiting for me at Al Azhar University in Egypt, but now I lost it because I didn't join the Taujihi and I don't have the certificates that shows that I'm a Taujihi student. So I lost the scholarship, I lost my education, I lost everything. Teacher Samea El Kurd says this day has been terrible for her. It's the first time in nine years she has not been overseeing the final year exams. The Israelis are not only destroying our homes and property, but also entire generations. Even if the war ends today, 90% of school buildings have been leveled to the ground. For students from first graders to university undergraduates, an entire academic year has gone down the drain. This is a total loss, physically and mentally. All universities in Gaza have been destroyed, and nearly 300 state-run schools and 65 UN schools have either been completely or partly destroyed. With them went years of work. More than half a million students have now been out of school since the war began, and resuming study will likely be difficult for a deeply traumatised population. Imogen Kimber, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.